Robin. All right, I'm gonna make her repeat. Now that you can read the library inscriptions, can you make any sense out of this? It didn't even look like the same language to uh -huh. me before. But now I can see the relationship between this writing and the things I read in the library. What does it say? It seems to be talking about an important thing. thing. Okay. I don't know what that was hidden. Okay. Any hints about where? On the other side of the hole. Other side of the hole. So that none may enter. Then it tells how to um, pull back this part of entrance. Whatever that means. It's pretty vague. Oh. Okay. There are some things that man was not meant to understand. Yeah, but this one even a woman is having a hard time with. Okay. Well, the only thing I can think of is that crevice, I believe, by the planetarium. So let's go Thanks. check that out. That's a really vague hint. Avatar sounds like Avatar Rogue from the Avatar Last Ender. You know what? Masonic, it might be. It might be. Um, I don't know who that voice actor was, but I know that the voice actor for Brink is a very prolific voice actor. A very, very, very prolific voice actor. Um, this bridge. Bridge, I believe. Nope, wrong way. No reason to take the tram now. So what we need now is we need the fourth piece. Because we've unlocked every spire except or if at first you don't succeed why every time do I do that? it still doesn't work if at first you don't succeed but yeah I don't have the IMDB page pulled up at the moment but I know that uh, the dude that does brink actually does a couple voices in this game so it might be that same voice actor And wait, we're crafty. Crafty is currently bet. I am currently a bet. This bat was redeemed. All right, we were just in the tomb. Um. I guess we'll just go in order. We're gonna go explore the map spire and see if we can't find something else. And yes, I am. Of course, I'm on the ceiling. I'm a bat. Why wouldn't you be on the ceiling if you were a bat? Bats belong on the ceiling. It is their natural habitat. Bats belong on the ceiling because it is their natural habitat. Okay, um... Let's... I already did that. There's nothing in this room. It is the same guy as Roku. That's awesome. That's awesome. Of course I'm on the ceiling. I'm a bit. <laughs> uh, we did find a new area. When we were investigating the, the nets. I really should make... Look in the background chat. You see that? This place is as creepy as the forest behind my house when I was a kid. Did you see that up here? There was another spider creature in the upper left. So we didn't really explore this area. Back here. Where is this? We didn't go up here before. This is new. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, good ear. Good ear, Masonic, uh, catching that that's the same voice actor. Maggie, come on across. The dude that does Brink, it's a little harder to place since he's. He's able to change his voice so much. Uh... Okay. Uh... 
got to be a purpose here. Robins. Maybe I'll get lucky here. This is a new area. Let's see what happens. Now that you can read the library inscriptions, can you make any sense out of this? It didn't even look like the same ah. language to me before. I'm saying the same stuff and I can't but skip now the I dialogue. can see the relationship between this writing and the things I read in the library. What does it say? Ah, let me skip the dialogue. It ah. seems to be talking about an important thing. I don't know what that was hidden. Any hints about where? On the other side of the hole, so that none may enter. Then it tells how to um, pull back this part of entrance, whatever that means. It's pretty vague. There are some things that man was not meant to understand. Stop talking. Yeah, but this one even woman is having a hard time with. Thanks. Let's see what happens with this instead of. Now that you can read the library and oh my god, you said the same thing. Ah! It didn't even Stop look like talking. the same language to me before. But now I can see the relationship between this writing Why? and the things I read in the library. What does it say? It seems to be talking about an important thing. Oh my god, Stop I don't know talking. what. I know this was is hidden. not the right place now. Any hints about where? On the other side of the hole so that none may enter. Then it tells how to um, pull back this part of entrance, whatever that means. It's Stop pretty talking. vague. There are some things that mean. <laughs> yes, we haven't discovered the entrance to hell. The yeah, dialogue hell. But this one even woman is having a hard time with. Usually they let you skip the dialogue, but they're not letting me do that today. Yeah, and thank you, I deserve Paul in order. All right, so apparently this is a dead end. I thought this was something I was incorrect. <sighs> so, that's not it. I guess we'll go back to the main entrance and see if there's anything we missed in there by the tram. Pretty much at this point, I'm just trying to find pathways that maybe I missed. Also, I don't understand why Maggie doesn't cross with me. Welcome on in, Lico de Mayo. Welcome on in, welcome on in, and good use of the cookie emotes there. Very good use of the cookie emotes there. Alright, um, let's see. go. Wait. Ha! Ah, what's that? What's that, chat? What did I just find? What is that? There's another opening back here. See, I just gotta click on the background. You would have thought that was part of just the... Ooh. Ooh! What's this glowy field? It's shimmering. Thank you. A light that doesn't seem real. As if it's just on the edge of existence. It makes me think of something. Something I saw earlier. Hey! Or maybe I read it. That's a hint, chat! That's a hint! Can you look at this inscription, Maggie? Yep. New dialogue. We got it. We got it. Does it say anything that might help? I got it! Yeah, it does look like a it rock. It wasn't clear to me before, but now I can see. Da, 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 da. Boston. It exactly describes that strange field of almost light. What does it say? It's a set of instructions. Now it makes perfect sense. I just twist this. Huzzah! Oh! Cool! Everything's huh? so simple when you read the directions. 
If we didn't know better, we'd think that island had been there for a million years. Nice. Island. This island was brought back from another dimension. This island was brought back from another dimension. All right, well, there's an opening here. Let's go down the hole, because that's always a smart thing to do. <laughs> Woo! Yes! What was so important that they left us exact instructions on how to get here? The last piece of the puzzle. Maybe that metal plate over there. Ooh, yeah! This is going to complete the puzzle to open the last door. Beautiful. That's the fourth one. If it's like the metal plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. Is it done? Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. Don't know until you find out. You have the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Robbins. If you had been abducted by a monster and then <laughs> half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. No, I just but got left by a you? crystal meth drug. And your hair looks terrific again. You sure know how to make a girl feel good. We better go find Brink again. Why? In case these metal plates do the job. He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. I would agree with this sentiment. An armed expedition. There's no guarantee we'll ever get back. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. You're right. We can't leave him. Why not? He scares me, Boston. Worse than the monster. They're both just hungry for something. Heh. <laughs> but Brink is smarter. More dangerous. Rude. We're smart, too. Let's go. Okay, well. Can we call Brink? Brink. Brink. Brink, do you read? He's not letting anything interrupt him, I guess. All right, well. I guess we gotta go back to the tomb now. But yeah, Maggie is, Maggie is a badass. I always enjoy a strong female character in games, one that doesn't need rescuing. And even when they do need rescuing, they're still kind of uh, a BA about it. Okay, well, I, I do remember one thing, chat, and at some point, and I'll probably take a quick break when we get to this point, we're going to have to run a poll. Well, actually, no, we won't run a poll. We'll just do polls. Uh, fun fact about this game is that it has a good ending and a bad ending. And I remember how to do it. But we'll, we'll save right before the, the titular moment. And then we'll get both endings. Uh oh. That was a powerful one. Commander Lowe, can you hear me? Uh oh. Brink, we're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we. Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Where are you? It's near one of the light bridges. Oh, oh. An arch bridge over a waterfall. And then into a crevice in the rock. You must have been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Hold tight. We're on our way. Hold tight? Very funny. <sighs> I think I know what this part is. I'd rather see just the good ending. Well, the bad ending isn't a bad ending. It's not like a bad, bad ending. It's just a, a moralistic choice ending. All right, fair, then we'll just do the good ending. We'll do just a good ending. Yeah, the bad ending isn't bad, bad. It's just a choice that you can make. Why do I have trap vibes? Well, I'll put it this way, Bunny Fist. If this is the part that I'm thinking of, I am going to do a quick content warning before we do the thing. <laughs> Uh, I think the planetarium is where we need to go. If this is what I'm remembering. 
This is what I'm remembering. Um, which should be the good ending. Oh no, we'll do the good ending first. We'll do the good ending first. Yep, this is what I'm thinking it is. <laughs> You've just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. No more about this. When would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. <laughs> I was reaching for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here, even if you have to cut off my hand. Don't be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. <laughs> Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. You'd cut it off. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Chew it off, then! Oh, I would, Brink. But human teeth can't bite through bone. After all that's happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Yep. Do something, Commander! Do it now! Alright, chat. I don't remember exactly what happens when I do this. Cone, cone, cone! Yes! <laughs> Actually, I might have a I might have a, a cone for next stream. I'm working on it. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Shame. No, this is not the moral choice, Travis Kid. Uh, there is only one solution. There is only one solution to this puzzle. Um, so quick, quick thing. Um. <clears throat> So, quick thing, uh, slight content warning here. If you're squeamish, I don't remember if they show me doing this or not, but we are going to, well, we'll, we'll put it this way really quick. Let's, let's look at this. Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. Whatever creature doesn't these say bones it this used time. to be, I don't think um, we've got anything like it on Earth. But yeah, you, you'll notice that that Jawbone kind of looks like a saw. <laughs> it, exactly, Redneck Coyote. Exactly. Uh, but he can't let go of what he's holding on to. His hand is good and stuck. We'll talk to him really quick. Frank, how are you holding up? My hand has been pulverized. But the pressure from the rocks is keeping me from bleeding to death. So yeah, I don't remember if it shows anything doing this chat. Oh, no worries, Masonic, no worries. Uh, but yeah, so slight, slight possible content warning here. We are going to be using the, the saw on his arm. <laughs> I don't think it shows anything, but I honestly don't remember. There's a tiny, thousands of tiny screws, no. Okay, I'm giving you all a minute that if this is not something, like I said, I don't know what this is going to do. I don't remember. And yes, it is a bone saw, Cog. It is a bone saw. Yeah, th this is your, your final cautionary thing. I don't know if it's going to show anything, but uh, for the possibility of this actually showing me cutting off his hand, this is your final warning before I click it on him. We are clicking in three, two, one. Yep. You're going to saw off his hand with a jawbone? Yep. The teeth are razor sharp. What about anesthetic? Do it, Commander! Do it old school. Just bite on a stick. Brace yourself, Brink. Okay, I don't think... <laughs> no, it doesn't show anything, thank you. A whole lot of oh no it does it does. <laughs> I can't Briefly, you endured so much pain without fainting. I'm fine, but I need more crystals. 
Come with us to the Triangle Matrix. <laughs> We've got all the metal plates. We think it's going to take us home. You don't know where it's going to take you. I'd rather gather more life crystals. What if it but yeah, the moment is over right? for anyone who is squeamish. What if we can't come back and get you? Do you want to stay here forever? Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. <laughs> but if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? You agree we have a deal? Agreed. All right, all right. And I remember my reaction the first time I saw that when I was a kid. Like, I did not actually expect the game to do that with actual, like, colored blood. And you'll notice, too, that if you look at no. Frank's jacket... I'm looking for something to help get us home. Ah, it won't let me. But if you looked at Brink's jacket in that section, you actually can see the splatter, which is interesting for a game that, well, this was before games had ratings. That should do it. Do what? What's happening? Doors Nothing is happening, that's what. Nope, there it goes. That's not exactly nothing, Brink. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? I think nothing is on the other side. Oh, Brink. What did you expect? The Tooth Fairy to come and fly us all home? The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. Oh, Brain. He is definitely insane. No. Is that your opinion as a journalist? It's, it's my opinion as a sane person. That is that is exactly what we're going to do at this point, Cog, is he is getting left behind. He is out. Oh. Definitely getting left behind. I think we're in the final area, so let me do a quick save here. Ooh, question mark. We're getting close. Pram here. All right. Onwards to the final spire. Onwards to the final spire. Oh, it's gonna be so interesting. It's been a while. Ooh, and a new tram cutscene, too. I can, I can do one better than that, Redneck Coyote. Did you know that they sell a bucket of nuggets? McDonald's has a bucket of nuggets that you can buy. Um, they don't actually have the bucket anymore, but uh, you can buy uh, 50 or 100 chicken nuggets in a bucket. We used to do that for conventions, and uh, when I worked at the barn, we just order a bucket of nuggets and bring it. I don't Robbins. recommend doing that because it is terrible for you. Never mind. Yes, you can buy a bucket. Chicken nugget bucket. <laughs> well, I I don't think they offer it anymore, but it was one of those things that wasn't on. I the saw computer. something like this in the museum display. This machine was the greatest of the inventor's achievements. Uh, what does it do? I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think it might send us home? Right now, it's doing nothing. I 100% agree with you there, no. Wendy's nugs are so much better than McDonald's nugs. 
It's a row of crystalline devices. is so good. Well, at least their nuggets are good. And we can always go into the great uh, nugget versus tender debate. I'm guessing. That doesn't fit here. Really? Aha! That doesn't fit here. Um, okay. But we're missing a piece. <laughs> um hmm. It looks like there's a part missing here. No, oh, really? There's a gap. No, really? Couldn't decide that. We couldn't figure that out. Um maybe. We put the two life crystals in, so that's a start. Let's see what has Bundy. Okay. We it's a row of crystalline devices. Yeah, can I steal one of the crystals out of it, please? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay. Um, can I walk further over here? Is the screen... Aha! Okay. I don't know how to work these controls. Come on. There's another strange object up here. Why, do I have to poke, like, all of the strange objects? <laughs> I don't know what to do with this device. Ugh. Come on, there's got to be a green crystal on the ground somewhere. That's how these games work. This stuff is always left on the ground for you to just pick up. Hide it on the top? Yes, exactly. I don't know what this button does. Let's press it. Boom. Welcome on in, Reaver Bay. Welcome on in. Sorry, Bird. You'll have Got to here. find a new home. I in here. No. Oh, it's a light bridge. Okay. Ah. Oh, I got lucky. I didn't have to touch anything on this one. All right. So now all the light bridges are activated. So that's good. Um, okay. Well, he kicked the nest. Yes, I did kick the nest. All right, there we go. Uh, someone said while we were sitting here, what do we do? What do we do if we don't know how something works? We just poke it, right? But there's somebody that does know what this does. Remember, we have, we have an in. We have an inside. We know someone who probably helped build this system. Let's go talk to our alien friend. Maybe he can give us some information. Sometimes, stepping away for a moment triggers a good memory. And it's like, oh, okay, maybe we should try this. So we're going to go try and talk to our alien friend here. I bet you, I bet you, he might be able to enlighten us on how this thing works. At the very least, it's worth a shot, and then we'll start shooting in the dark if this wasn't the uh, correct answer. Also, I've decided we're just going to finish the game as the bat, and then I'll switch back to Crafty. Sorry, putting my, my blankie on, because Crafty cannot regulate her own body temperature, unfortunately. But 
Yeah, the timer on the bat is actually up, but I'm too lazy to switch it back. <laughs> We're so close to the end. I'm glad that I decided to finish it up today, though, because we would have been going until 5 o'clock yesterday, my time, if I had tried to do this yesterday. Alright, so let's wake up our dead friend again. Poor guy just can't rest in peace. Alright, so we are going to wake him up again. You want Okay, so alien device. The machine in your laboratory. What does Here it do? Here we go. Where the lights all shine, it opens the eye. The eye of Sauron. Thank you for helping us. Help yourselves by giving up. Never look into the impossible eye. Hmm. You don't have the strength to return from that place. Oh! I, I wasn't done talking to you. Are you sure we want to leave? He's a living encyclopedia. Yeah, no, I actually wasn't done talking to him yet. Actually, was not done talking to him yet. You need to tell me more about that device. Speak. The eye. Does that mean the crystal at the meeting place of the light bridges? Oh. The machine generated this eye. Oh. The eye sees into all space and time. And where the eye sees, the mind can fly. Okay. Was this eye the doorway into the place where your people went? A door that can be crossed only one way. You don't know that. More of a gate than If a someone door. has a strong enough tie to reality. Do you think you are stronger than all my people? Yes, yes, I do. Because I am human. They, the strongest race known could not overcome the temptation before it was too late. If we bring your people back to this world, then they can build a starship to take us home to Earth. It's our only chance. Maybe we'll fail, but you must let us try. Since you think you are stronger and wiser than my people, hmm. I will let you have the fruit of your pride. And arrogance. I will tell you how to find the peace I hid. If you know how to ask. <laughs> but it will cost you more than you ever imagined. All right. Please don't play any more games with us. Where is the missing piece? You cannot understand what will begin if you activate the eye. You cannot bear to pay what it will cost you. What is it going to cost us? Tell me. Yes, you've warned us. Now where is the piece? Go to the map with this message and see what it shows you. Okay. I have said enough. Uh. Thank you for helping us. Oh, okay, okay. Help yourselves by giving up. Never look into the impossible eye. He is a cheery, you don't have cheery the creature, isn't he? Turn from that place. I'm gonna say the alien design in this game is really cool. All right, so what we got here? Oh, it's another one of these sticks. Okay. So complex, blob, complex, blob. All right, well, let's go back to the map room. Um, I'm gonna make, hold on, are we out of crystals? Yes, we are. All right, I gotta make a quick stop to grab more life crystals, just in case we need them for reasons. 
and then we'll go back to the map room. All right. As I said, I don't know when we're going to be spinning the wheel again because it's kind of on, kind of on hiatus at the moment. Because most of the games on the wheel, I'm not allowed to, uh, not allowed to play right now. But we'll see. We'll see. We're going to test my ability to use a keyboard today for more than hunt and peck typing. Uh, let's see, we need to go to the museum. Grab a life crystal. But yeah, I will definitely add that one to the wheel, Argon. I will definitely add that one to the wheel. I still gotta play Portal from last time we did the wheel. <laughs> It's all right. 2021 kind of ended up being a weird year for my schedule. 2022 hopefully will go better. We'll find out. Get a full roster of life crystals here. Two. Three. Four. And no, I, I will not strain myself. No, I promise you that. I promise everybody out there in Chatlandia that because the last thing I want to do is give myself a, a setback on this wrist fracture. Although, no, I don't know if I said this uh, earlier this week, um, but once I'm able to start moving my wrist, which hopefully will be next week, uh, my therapist, my occupational therapist said that we are going to, part of my homework is going to be knitting. Part of my homework will be knitting because it is such a good way to exercise the wrist. So creative streams might not be on hiatus for as long as I thought they would be. Now, granted, I'm going to be limited. Um, she said at most it's going to be you knit for 15 minutes and then you call it a day. So it won't be the, the long four or five hour knitting sessions we were doing before. I'm going to have to work my way up to those. But at least we can get back to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead serious, No, is that she said knitting is going to be part of my therapy to help with wrist motion and stuff. But I'm going to have to keep it short for a while. But we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. And I'm sure we can probably bring Spin Spin back too. Uh, let's see. So, complex blue, blob red, complex red, blob blue. Okay. I already forgot. Complex blue, blob red. Complex red. But yeah, I'm not going to push it too much. Because obviously I don't want to give myself a setback. But we'll at least be able to do some light stuff. Yeah, I know it's going to be hard to do now. So that's where the part is. Huh. Assuming he gave us the right code. I actually know where that is. That's that beach we found earlier by the, uh, the spider nest. We actually need to go back the other way. We need to go to the pit. But yeah, I, I will not deny keeping the sessions short is going to be a challenge. Um, isn't this the way to the nest? Pretty sure this is the way to the nest. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We're in the right place. Yeah. 
want to go this way. You know, it's kind of sad, but honestly, the one thing I really, 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 really want to be clear to do is holding a controller again so I can play Switch. I might try playing it with just the Joy-Con in my hand uh, this weekend. Because I miss playing Animal Crossing. And of course, this happens right after I get the expansion Maggie. to the AC, too. Come on across. <laughs> Six months down on to greater things now. Once crafty heals. Aw. Well, thank you for continuing that sub for seven heckin' months, no. You are an absolute sweetheart, and thank you for continuing to be an executive producer. It is very, very sweet of you. And I'm glad Robins. that... Glad that I provide a space that people enjoy being in. Do you get the idea that he really doesn't want us to succeed in repairing his machine? Let's just find the missing piece. Thanks. Okay. Well, where is it? Ah! There it is. I knew I was in the right place. We just had to mouse over the right thing. I wish I knew what's going to happen when I get this piece back in place. <sighs> I need to get Loran board so you can make the bat fall off the top of the screen. That'd be hilarious. But yeah, I'm glad that we have cultured a nice space that uh, seems like a lot of you out there enjoy spending time in, which makes me very happy. I'm also happy that you all are enjoying these point-and-click adventures. I know this is vastly different from what I've been doing in the past. But this truly is a genre that my heart lies with. I actually attribute a lot of my logistic skills and problem-solving to games like this. And their wonderful, wonderful moon logic of doing weird things. All the way back. Light bridge. Okay. Now let's go back to the cathedral. 